Hi, in this video I'll be looking at S Cinetone. S Cinetone is a combination of both a new gamma curve and a new color matrix in the PXW FX9 that produces rich, pleasing images suitable for most types of modern video production. Sony have been making video cameras for television and video for a very long time. In order to achieve a high degree of image uniformity across their entire range of cameras, Sony have always traditionally had a standard look based on broadcast television standards. However, with the launch of the Sony Venice digital cinema camera, Sony introduced a completely new color science developed specifically for film production rather than television production. The Sony Venice camera produces rich, wide latitude images that are very film-like with particular attention to accurate and pleasing skin tone reproduction. The standard monitoring LUT used in the Venice camera is called S709. This new color science and look has been extremely well received in the filmmaking community. And building on this success, the PXW FX9 has inherited much of this new Venice color science. In the Cine EI mode, the FX9 even shares the same S709 monitoring LUT as Venice. But there will be many production shot on the FX9 where there won't be the time or budget for the post-production grading that's necessary when shooting using S-Log3 in the Cine EI mode and perhaps using the S709 LUT. So Sony developed S Cinetone as a way to directly achieve equally rich images with pleasing, true-to-life skin tones and a film-like feel without the need to do any post-production grading. S Cinetone is designed to look great straight from the camera. While sharing many characteristics of the Venice look, it is different. Overall, it has more contrast than the S709 LUT, making it better suited to video production rather than film or movie production. The S Cinetone gamma curve behaves slightly differently to most conventional gamma curves, such as Rec. 709. And this behavior allows you to adjust the amount of contrast in your footage through small changes in exposure. The contrast in the S Cinetone 9 gamma curve changes as you go up in brightness. In the shadow and darker areas of the image, contrast is increased. Then starting from around 70% brightness, a gradual change in the gamma curve occurs that gradually reduces contrast all the way up to the clipping point. This roll-off results in smooth looking highlights. And in addition, S Cinetone's highlight roll-off has been carefully designed to retain details and textures, even in the brightest highlights in a manner similar to film. Most conventional gammas have an aggressive knee or highlight roll-off that often lacks texture and as a result gives them that classic video look. S Cinetone avoids this and renders highlights in a very pleasing manner. While it does have a very large dynamic range, around 460%, about 11 stops, if you really do need the greatest possible dynamic range, you should still consider using the FX9 Cine EI mode and shooting with S Log3. So how do you expose S Cinetone? It's actually very easy. Generally, you expose it no differently to any other standard Rec. 709 or similar gamma curve. If using the image in the viewfinder to assess your exposure, simply expose it so it looks right. It really is that simple. But do note that the design of the curve means that if you expose a touch brighter, the image will be very slightly flatter and less contrasty. Expose a touch lower and the contrast increases, giving you the ability to tweak the way your images look. If you want to use zebras or the waveform display to assist with getting the right exposure, as a starting point, I recommend exposing typical skin tones at around 65% for a normal looking image. If you expose skin tones at 70%, then the image will be a touch flatter. If you expose skin tones at 60%, the image will be a little more contrasty. Personally, for a more film-like look, I really like the results you get when you expose skin tones in the 60 to 65% range. But you should experiment for yourself with different exposure levels to see what suits your shooting style and the look you wish to achieve. For me, S Cinetone is one of the really great aspects of the FX9. It allows you to capture really beautiful images quickly and easily in all kinds of lighting conditions.